Hello out there, cookie world. It's Nancy from the Colorful Cookie, the Colorful Cookie Club, and the Colorful Cookie Studio. I have had several requests. I turned on my live and I can see my necklaces needs turned around. Um, I have had several requests to show how to modify a stencil download from the shop. Um, and so the one I chose to do was one that someone had just asked about, and it was the soccer ball. And they said, well, it's for, I think I made it for a three-inch cookie, and they said, I need it smaller. How can I modify it? And I've had this question asked several times, so I thought it was about time that I came on and just do um, a live for you and show you how to modify the size of a stencil, whether you're using Silhouette Studio or Cricut Design Space. Um if you're making comments, I'm going to have to look on my Facebook page on my iPad because this app I'm using to do the live won't show me who's commenting unless you click in the comments. There's a link that it says, well, I don't even see it in the comments. Normally there's a link, but I won't be able to see your comments until my iPad. Oh, and I'm going to turn myself down here. Okay. Hi, Tina. Now I can see you. Hi, Elle. Hi, Virginia. Hi, Cindy. I'm going to show you guys how to modify a download from the Stencil Studio, the shop. Sometimes people want a different size of image than what I've created the design at. So there is one issue with that that you're going to have to watch for. When you download a stencil, I have set the bridges at a certain size. Of course, if it's a a silk screen stencil, it doesn't, it's going to be fine. You have to watch the lines. You don't want them to get too thin, but a silk screen is a little bit, you know, you don't have to watch so closely because there are no bridges. But when you're changing the size of a de design, you have to watch the size of the bridges because anytime you shrink a design, the um, image gets smaller and so do the bridges with it. Hi, Dieter. Hi, Linda. So, hi, Janie. Um, so, let me show you how that's done. Now, of course, I'm going to give the Colorful Cookie Club a plug here because in the Colorful Cookie Club, I teach every tip and trick that I have on designing and cutting cookie stencils. So, I can show you how to, how to turn any image into a cookie stencil. I can, I give you all the tools that you need to know to do anything you want in designing and cutting a cookie stencil. Um, so I won't go through every single process of creating bridges and all of that, but I will show you how you can reduce the size of an image and make it work for you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch over and show you my screen. Let me find the button. Um, let me see. I need to show you my current application. Let's see. Well, maybe I just need to show you my whole screen. Hold on. Yes, that's what I needed to do. So this app is a little bit new to me. I'm still learning how to use it. So, um, hopefully you can see everything. And my live on my iPad has a little bit of a lag. So I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing here before I begin. All right, you can. All right, so if you say, for example, if you have purchased this stencil from the shop, let me show you, let me go to the shop. Here's the shop, and, and I've switched it back over to the Shopify platform. I had gone, when I started the new website, gone with a different platform, and I like the Shopify platform much better. So this is the home page, and you can see the Easter designs here. Here it says check out our products and also shop digital downloads. Both of these take you to the same place, so let's just click this. And you can see all the categories of stencils here. So if you go to sports and activities, you're going to see some of the sports stencils that I have. So right here is the soccer ball. If you purchase this and download it, you are going to be getting um, an SVG, which looks just like this in your download, plus a printable that you can cut out and store behind your stencil in your storage so that you can find it easily. So in Silhouette Studio, it's, it's actually it's very easy to do this in Design Space or Silhouette Studio. This is an SVG file. And look, you see how I can see through that? 
I have made it a compound path before I shared it with you, and that basically means I always compare it to punching, I punched the stencil image out of the stencil frame. And when I say stencil frame, I'm talking about this square with my logo in it. That's what I refer to as the stencil frame. And when you punch the image out of the stencil frame, you know it's a compound path. See how, whoops, now watch, that went behind there. That's because this stencil is on the back layer behind the letters and my logo here. So it is a compound path. Let me bring this to the front, front layer. See how you can see through that? It's on the top layer now. So let me show you how to reduce the size. I am going to use my keyboard shortcuts and I am going to release the compound path and you're going to see a bunch of bounding boxes. I want to keep the bounding box with my logo and I want to keep the stencil frame. So I'm using my keyboard shortcuts to um, save that. See, I've got the stencil frame there in one piece. Now I'm left with the soccer ball. All right. I'm going to click over that, all of it. You see it's in a lot of different pieces because I released the path. All right. Now I grouped it together. I pushed Command G on my keyboard to do that. And I can reduce the size here by clicking and dragging in. I could also, I'm going to lock my uh, lock up here because I want to make sure that um, I keep my soccer ball in proportion. And say my cookie cutter is two and a half inches, I'm going to make it 2.35. And if I wanted to check that, I can come up here, I can draw a circle at two and a half inches approximately, and I can make sure that my soccer ball stencil is going to fit. I can see that for a two and a half inch cookie, I might need to reduce that just a tad more. Looky there, that's gonna be perfect. All right, now let me get rid of my pretend cookie there. I'm gonna zoom in close because I wanna check these bridges to make sure they're still far enough apart to cut well. And it looks like they are, so I'm gonna zoom back out. So that you can see this soccer ball, let me zoom in just a little bit closer. I'm going to turn it black because I want you to see it when I put it back in the frame. If I leave it gray, let me show you if I leave it gray, and I bring the frame back, see, you're not going to be able to see it because they're the same color, so I'm going to make the ball black. And then I'm going to click and drag over both. I will align them, and then I will group them back together, and voila, it's ready to cut and it's resized. Yay, Swirls of Sugar, I'm coming to Portland. Yes, I am. Are you coming? Are you coming to the Cookie Fest? I hope so. Anybody have any questions? I can't, um, I'm looking at my iPad now to try and see if you have any questions of me about this. Now, for a Silhouette user, this is ready to cut. If you were a Cricut user and you wanted to cut this on your Cricut machine, there's a whole uh, set of steps to do that to prepare it for Cricut Design Space. Um, and I won't go into that because it's a little, it's not that much of a process, but it is a bit of a process and I, I do show how to do that in the club. Oh good, you live in Portland. Swirls of Sugar, who are you? What's your, what's your name? What's your real name besides your cookie name? <laughs> I always know people by their cookie name. Um, so let me take you now to Cricut Design Space. We'll go back here. And I already have the stencil uploaded into Design Space. This is the same file, the same SVG file that we had in Silhouette Studio. Let's go back to, and, and let me say about this in Silhouette Studio, I did not make this a compound path, but watch what happens when I do. It, oops, I don't want that. Um, I don't know why that button came up. I must have accidentally hit it. Darcy Roberts. It's nice to meet you, Darcy. Um, all right, so I made this a compound path, but it reverted to those famous red silhouette cut lines, which I don't like to see. I like to work in color. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that with gray and make my lines transparent. And there you go. See, you can see through it again. When it was grouped, we couldn't see through it. All right, let's go back to Design Space. 
This is that same SVG file. It's on the back layer, but watch what happens when I send it to the front layer. See how I can see through that? I know it's a compound path. All right, so in Design Space, it's very easy to modify your design, but again, you have to watch the size of the bridges. You don't want them to shrink up so small that they uh, disappear. And then also, you need to remember, when you shrink a design and your bridges get smaller, you have to remove your stencil very carefully from the mat or it will tear your bridges. And then, you know, you have to cut your stencil again. So watch for that when you remove it from the mat. The first thing I'm going to do here is to duplicate this image and I'm going to have one here and one here. I always duplicate um, an extra image for insurance purposes and I, I say insurance because I want an original that if something goes wrong I always have the original to go back to. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is click right down here in the lower right hand corner. I suppose I should widen this so you're not seeing Silhouette Studio in the background. That may confuse some people. Let me widen this screen and that maybe will not be so confusing. Okay, Let, let's uh, scoot this over. All right, and in case anybody comes in on this video, they can see what we're doing. I'll put the title here so it'll show. Okay, well, it's still not gonna show, is it? All right, so I'm gonna click here on this stencil. Remember, I duplicated it to have an extra. I'm gonna click, uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna duplicate one more. I want three, and I'm gonna hide one of them. That's going to be my original. See, I hit it right over here in the Layers panel. I click the eye. All right, select this image. I'm going to click Contour, and I am going to click the stencil frame right up here at the top. Contour means to hide. I'm not seeing your comments if you're making any or if you have any questions. Go ahead and post them and I'll go back and answer them. I'm gonna click the C and the C to hide that. And you can see right down here, all we're left with is the soccer ball. I'm hiding the frame and the CC. There's the soccer ball. Again, all I have to do is come up here and resize this to 2.3. If I've got a two and a half inch cookie, let's see if that'll do it. I'm going to go ahead and turn this black because I don't want it the same color as the frame or you won't see it when I put everything back together. So I'm going to turn that ball black. And then here is my other frame. I want to put this ball back in this frame, but right now the soccer ball is there. So I'm going to select it and click Contour. This time, I want to keep the stencil frame. I want to get rid of the soccer ball. So I'm going to click on all the pieces of the soccer ball because I'm hiding them. I'm hiding the contours. Whoops, I don't want to hide the CC. I want to keep, keep that. Whoop. I want to keep my logo in there. All right. Now I'm left with the stencil frame and the soccer ball. Anybody know what I have to do now? I have to grab both of these. I need to align them again. I'll just align and center. Then I am going to click attach and this soccer stencil is ready to cut now at my new size. And how's that? How's that? <laughs> See how easy that is? There are so many tricks that I can share with you that I know to help you design stencils and make things go quickly. Um, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. But I know when people purchase stencils, I've had the question before, how do I change the size of my image? No, when you hide them, they're not gone forever, Dieter. They are still there. Let me go back and I'll show you. Um, right here. See where I hit it? I call this playing peekaboo. I'm clicking the eye on the right hand side in the layers panel. See that? See how it's coming back up? I can hide anything I want. I can even hide that stencil frame if I want to. I can bring them back. I always call, see I can hide any of this. I just call this playing peekaboo. <laughs> just because it helps it helps people remember, it helps me remember. You're just playing peekaboo when you click the eye. It's like when you're closing your eyes and opening your eyes. So, 
Um, it's very easy to modify a design. Any SVG design, it's very easy to modify. And, you know, I came uh, online a couple weeks ago and did a live to show you how to download the freebie from the newsletter. And um, Karen, my friend, who I got the saying from, life is good, what she always says, um, I made that SVG uh, because that's what she always says, and I like it. So she actually took that SVG and modified it using some of the techniques I just showed you. She made it larger, and she made a decal for her new Jeep. And so you can always go in and modify SVG files if you know how to do it. So I'm hoping this has helped someone anyway. And if you're watching this on replay and you know someone who needs to see this and learn to do this. Oh, sorry, my little dog's barking. If you know someone who needs to learn how to do this, share this live with them so that they can learn how to do the same thing when they download a file. And uh, like, comment, tag people if you want them to see it. So that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to share those tips with you and let you know how to make changes to any stencil downloads that you purchase from the shop. In the comments here, I will post a link uh, to the shop and there's also if you haven't I sent out an email blast on Sunday there's a coupon code in there for buy one get one free and so if you haven't seen your newsletter check your junk mail and then in the comments of the post I'll also click uh, or I'll also put a link in there that if you click on it it will take you to the shop and it applies the coupon automatically so I hope everyone has a good day it's beautiful outside here in Kansas City. It's about, I think, 80 degrees right now, which I absolutely love. This is my favorite time of year. Well, one of my favorite times of year, I should say. So everybody have a good day, and I'll see you soon.